Read the, read the obituary softly. Quietly, rather. bless you. We pray that God will help you and strengthen you. I don't think I've ever met the young man, but you all that don't know, most of you all there, you all don't know, I'm, I'm family. <laughs> I am, I see two back there, young lady over here. I'm Michael Clark's cousin and uh, I knew Clee Uncle Clee and the we sit and talk me and brother Clee many days with those big bucket of fish <laughs> going fishing and cleaning the fish many days we talked to brother Clee know you too amen we're family as I said, I'm Michael Clark, uh, cousin. All the kind words were said about this young man. That's a good thing. I, I don't know about you, but uh, uh, I've lived long enough to see people die and people don't have nothing to say good about. But that's not the case with this young man. You, you know, you live your funeral. Huh? And I know, I know some people die and people say, I'm glad them so-and-so did. <laughs> Not with him, all the good and kind words. He did that. Now, I'm not going to be long. I'm not going to be long. The uh, pastor that was up here, he said that You believe on the Lord Jesus and confess with your mouth and you'll be saved. We need to make sure. Look, all of us, all you watching me plus me, I'm going to be laying right there one of these days. Y'all going to be laying there one of these days. We need to make sure that we are saved. Amen. Praise God. Because, look. Where a tree falls, that's where it lies. And how you die, that's how you're going to be raised. You better make sure you get your business straight with Jesus before you shut your eyes. Make sure. Now as the preacher said, and he said so right and so, we believe in our heart, confirm it about the Lord Jesus, and we shall be saved. How do we know that's true? We do well. The Bible says it. True. The Bible says it. Now the Bible also says that is one. Look, that, that's not the end of this young man. He's going to live again. All of us have an appointment with them. What the scriptures say is once appointed a man to die. And after death to judge me, you're you going to keep this appointment and you ain't going to be late. How many, how many of you had doctor, doctor appointments and you were late? It was counsel. <laughs> how many of you had dentist appointments and you were late or it was counsel? Huh? How many had court appointments and you were late and they locked you up? For contempt of court. We all have an appointment. Some people have an appointment to bad things. I mean, I, some have a have an appointment with the with the with the dope man and the weed man. 
Some have a woman with the other woman that ain't they wife and the other man that's not they husband. But some have the, the, the an appointment to go carjack somebody. Many appointments. But this appointment, we're going to keep. All of us have an appointment with death and after death, the judgment. We're going to stand before God. We're going to stand before Jesus Christ and give an account to what we did on this earth. God made us. We didn't make ourselves. He, we didn't come no egg. <laughs> we didn't drop out of no sky. God made us. <laughs> huh? Now, Believe on the Lord Jesus. Believe he died and rose again. Confess Christ as Lord. Have anybody ever thought on this? Have you asked, ever asked the Lord or went in the scripture and wonder what the Lord got to say about how to be saved and how to go to heaven and how not to go to hell? Have, have anybody ever thought on that? A lot of folks fess Christ as Savior. The devil fess Christ as Savior. Believe he died and rose again. The, the one that caught Jack. Go, go talk to them, see what they confess Christ as Savior. Do you confess Christ as Savior? Although Jake got to caught Jack somebody? Yes, I confess Christ as Savior. Do you confess Christ as Savior? Although you just got to tipping with the woman that won your wife and the man that won your husband. Do you confess Christ? Yes, I confess Christ. But Christ is Savior. Christ is Lord. And Christ told us to do something. In order to be saved. The first thing he said was. Repent. Repent. You got to repent. You, you can't keep. Look when somebody repent. Look. You that married. You that ain't married. If your man, your woman, or your husband, or your wife, or your boyfriend, or your girlfriend, or your fiance go out and cheat on you and give it up out of both draw legs, and they come to you and say, I'm sorry, I repent, and they turn right around and do the same thing again, that's not repentance. Uh 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 no 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 when 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 one repent they stop doing what they did to you you want that you want folks to repent to you ain't that right you don't want about doing you wrong ain't that right what about God what about Jesus Jesus don't want you doing him wrong Jesus said if you love me keep my commandments not break them. Hmm? Jesus said repent Then y'all believe Believe what The Bible said what the hard man believe Unto righteousness You believe Jesus Christ to make you righteous And when Jesus make you righteous Ain't nobody gang banging And righteous Ain't nobody stealing And righteous Ain't nobody Carjacking and writer ain't nobody smoking kush. <laughs> and righteous. Don't we well, need legalized marijuana for what? They pull crazy enough. <laughs> Somebody ran ran to me two weeks ago. Both drunk driving them, run into I'm, I'm I was what I was high. Nobody stabbing you in the back, righteous. No bigot, no racist is righteous. Gotta keep his commandments. Look, Jesus' commandments that he told you to keep, and your commandments are the same commandments. You don't want nobody doing you wrong. Jesus don't want nobody doing him wrong. Do what he told you to do. We all know right from wrong. So Jesus said repent. Watch it. Jesus said his blood is shed. For the remission of sin. 
How many of you educate? I, I ain't got no education. I didn't go to college. What do remission mean? <laughs> huh? Give it up. That's right. Give it up. But what do remission mean? Complete. He take it. His blood take away. He he take your sin away. I don't care what you done. I don't care. I don't care if you kill forty people. He take remission. His blood cleans you and take away your sin. Remission. Now, do do you want to be about that life? Do, do, do you want to live that life? Or do we want to keep doing what we're doing? Are we ready to live that life? That's the life we're going to have to live. Then he said, call on him. You ready to be about that life? You ready to live the way Jesus told you to live? And G Jesus ain't told none of us to sin. I'm going to say that again. Jesus told none of us to sin. He told us don't do it. Now if we're ready to be about that life, sometimes we, we, ain't, we ain't ready to be about that life sometimes. Be honest with you, sometimes we ain't ready. But in order to be saved, in order to go to heaven, we're going to have to be ready. We're going to, we're going to have to live that life. Why did Satan get kicked out of heaven? Somebody tell me that. For sin. If Satan got kicked out of heaven for sin, thank you, sister. If Satan got kicked out of heaven for sin, how you think we getting up there with sin? He going to kick us out. He going to say, depart from me. You that work iniquity. Now I'm getting ready to close. All hope is not gone. I don't care what you've done. I'm saying, well, I've done too, too much bad stuff to be saved. No, you ain't. Jesus, look. Jesus will forgive you and he won't hold stuff against you like we do. <laughs> I remember when he did this. I remember when she did this. That was 30 years ago. They done got right with God and going on. And you still holding grudges. Jesus don't remember it no more. And therefore he said go and don't do it no more. Jesus said go see it no more. He told the woman of adultery go see it no more. No more. No, don't go do it no more. We follow Jesus. Keep his command. Gotta be safe. That's the only way we're gonna be safe. The only way. The only way. Before we leave this life, I don't know how to be. I see it washed away. Now, Jesus' blood does that. Jesus' blood will clean up from all sin. It's not automatic. You have to go to Him and ask Him to do it. And He will do it. All right. All right. God bless you. Before it's too late, if you haven't, Repent of your sin. Turn from your sin. Believe Jesus Christ. Huh? Call on him to save you. Keep his commandments. Do him right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Here's our prayer. So we ask the more attention to come. Now, if I'm not mistaken, is the burial today? Someone? It's, it's today. The bed. Yeah. We're going to leave here and we're going to we're gonna follow the procession. Pleasant rest, memorial gods. God bless you. God keep you. God bless you, family. Yes. God comfort you, family. In Jesus' name is our prayer. God bless you.